How to get rid of bad breath with baking soda. Bad breath is a common problem for many people. A foul-smelling odor comes from the mouth, making you feel very self-conscious. This condition is also known as halitosis and can be caused by various issues such as dry mouth, gum disease, bacterial infections, sinus issues, or poor oral hygiene. The good news is that there are many natural methods to get rid of bad breath. In today's guide, we will share natural remedies using baking soda. You will need 1 half teaspoon baking soda, half a cup water. Method. Add the baking soda to the water and stir well until completely dissolved. Use this mixture as a mouthwash by swishing it around the mouth and gargling in the throat. Spit out the mixture to get rid of bad breath. Follow this procedure morning and night for the best results. The baking soda destroys bacteria in the mouth that cause the foul smell. Be sure to use baking soda and not baking powder, as these contain different ingredients. Baking soda helps maintain excellent oral health by balancing the pH level within the mouth. This prevents odor causing bacteria from spreading and neutralizes acids that stick to the tongue, gums, and teeth. You can also make a baking soda toothpaste by simply adding a few drops of water to one teaspoon of baking soda. Brush your teeth with this to get rid of plaque. This effectively whitens the teeth naturally, removes stains, and eliminates bad breath. Alternatively, sprinkle some baking soda on your toothbrush before using your regular toothpaste. Always rinse your mouth with plain water afterward. Sometimes, we do not notice that our breath smells bad. To test for this, simply wipe your tongue with a piece of gauze. If it appears yellow, this indicates a high amount of sulfides in the mouth, likely causing a foul smell. Sugar is one of the main causes of bad breath as it feeds bacteria in the mouth, causing them to multiply. Try using alternative sweeteners such as xylitol to prevent this from happening. Baking soda and lemon juice can also be mixed to create a mouth freshening tonic. Use the juice of two lemons, 250 milliliters of water, and one half teaspoon of baking soda to make a citrus mouthwash. Compounds in the lemon help freshen the breath and clear up throat infections. You can also try a mixture of one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with one half teaspoon of baking soda in a glass of water. Apple cider vinegar reduces microbes in the mouth and is extremely healthy for the body. Please see our baking soda playlist at the end of this video to learn more about this natural cure. Thank you very much for listening. A like is always appreciated. And remember to subscribe for more healthy videos. I wish you great health, wealth, and happiness. How often to use? You can use the baking soda mouthwash twice daily, once in the morning and once at night, for the best results. This routine can help maintain fresh breath and good oral hygiene. For the baking soda toothpaste or brushing technique, it's also recommended to use it no more than twice a day. Overuse of baking soda can be abrasive to tooth enamel, so sticking to this routine will help avoid any potential damage while keeping your breath fresh. Can kids use it? Yes, kids can use baking soda for oral care, but with some precautions. Mouthwash. If using the baking soda mouthwash, 
ensure that the child is old enough to rinse and spit without swallowing the mixture. Typically, this is suitable for children over the age of six. Brushing. Kids can also use baking soda for brushing, but it should be done gently and not more than once a day. Ensure they are supervised to avoid swallowing the baking soda. Amount. Use a smaller amount of baking soda for children. About one quarter teaspoon mixed with water for a mouthwash or brushing paste. Always consult with a pediatric dentist before introducing any new oral care routine for children. Any side effects. Using baking soda for oral care is generally safe when used appropriately, but there are potential side effects and considerations. Tooth enamel. Baking soda is mildly abrasive and, if used too frequently or with excessive force, can wear down tooth enamel over time. It's important to use it gently and not more than twice a day. Gum irritation. Overuse of baking soda might irritate the gums or cause discomfort. If you notice any irritation, reduce the frequency of use or discontinue use and consult with a dentist. pH balance. Baking soda can alter the natural pH balance of the mouth if used excessively, potentially leading to oral health issues. Taste. Some people may find the taste of baking soda unpleasant, which might affect the desire to use it regularly. Allergic reactions. Although rare, some individuals might have a sensitivity or allergic reaction to baking soda. If you experience any unusual symptoms, discontinue use and seek medical advice. To minimize these risks, Use baking soda as recommended and consult with your dentist, especially if you have existing dental conditions or concerns. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.